And now we go all the way back to 1993 as we check out this really awesome Mazda MX-5 Miata from Ravel. This is a skill level 2 kit, contains 91 pieces, and is molded in 124th scale. On this side of the box we see the features for the Mazda MX-5 Miata. It is a unique new sports car for the 90s with detailed engine and suspension, convertible top up or down, custom body parts, rear tonneau cover, molded in red clear and bright plastic parts, and you get custom graphics with racing stripes and an Alberta license plate. So here we have a shot of the interior. Now unfortunately, unlike the Japanese cars that I've reviewed in the past, there is no right and left hand side dashboard. You just basically get the left hand side. There's our engine and the rear three quarters with the top up and a rear three quarter with the top down. Now if you turn the box over, you get to see the optional custom version with a custom front end and the tonneau cover up here to cover up the bucket seats and the custom rear end. This is again a skill level one, two and three type of kit. Choose the skill that's right for you. I do believe this one is skill level two. Now I find this car really exciting because back in the day I worked for a car dealership and one of these came in and I really love the very close ratio gear stick lever and how quickly it shifted through all the different gears and the fact that this was a nice little four cylinder sports car. So let's rip the lid off the box and check out my favorite little Mazda of all time, the little MX-5 Miata. So right away we get our instruction sheet. Now there should be a decal sheet hiding inside here which we'll take a look at toward the end. There's our car body and then there's our chrome wheels which is also really cool. The glass components, it looks like some of them popped out like the roof here. And then we've got this and this and this and I can see our tires which I do believe I've cut out and cleaned up. There's our front windshield and our final red component. Again, really awesome looking stuff. Side little draft windows and those little teeny tires. So now let's clear all this out of the way and take a look at those instructions. Now here we have our instruction sheet and it says that I bought it October 1994 at Zellers for $6.49. Hey, what a deal. There's our uh, right up on the car and then here's all our different types of symbols you're gonna see in the instruction sheet. And then we've got our paint chart. So let's open this up and check it out. Now, as we look through our instruction sheet, we have this read this before you begin box. But if you wanna check out the ultimate read this before you begin video, take a look at the one that I made coming up across here. Now what we have in step one is our engine transmission and drive shaft and differential assembly which glues together as one big solid piece. Panel two shows the entire engine head assembly with this shield and our exhaust manifold going up inside being dropped down on the top of the block. There's our valve covers going on and our oil cap. Here we have the front engine cover. There's a little alternator which glues on the back. All that pushes in front. Then our oil pan goes up and underneath. Panel three shows our intake plenum being glued on top here. And then there's all our serpentine belts being glued into the front. Panel four has our rear frame assembly and there's the rear suspension carrier being dropped into the chassis pan. Panel five shows our rear end being glued in place and notice how our struts will pop into the carrier here, just like there. Then our shock absorbers will drop in place as well. Panel six shows our rear A-arm assemblies being glued into place. You have your left and your right. Notice how the right goes onto these pins into these holes and another one right there on the carrier. Panel seven shows the right and left lower A-arms being glued from underneath. And then here we have our steering linkage going into place. This is all at the front of our chassis. Panel eight shows our front sway bar being dropped in place followed by panel nine with the front shock absorbers going into our A-arms. Over here in panel 10, we have our completed engine being popped into place. And here it shows where our engine mounts up in the front. Panel 11 is our wonderful exhaust pipe assembly. Here you hook the front of the pipe into our engine and then it glues up into the back. We got a two piece rear muffler as well. Panel 12 is our radiator assembly. 
There we've got our radiator, the two little fans, and our radiator shroud all being sandwiched together. Panel 13 is our interior assembly, and we also have part of the engine bay as well. So what we have is our interior tub, our emergency brake lever going in place, as well as the shift lever being dropped onto there. The shift lever is very, very tiny, so be careful. Panel 14, we have our door panel assembly. These are molded separately, so the detail will be excellent. You get separate armrests that pop in as well, and all of this gets located into the interior tub. Panel 15 shows our seat assembly, gluing in the front and the back. Do that twice and then drop them into the interior. Panel 16 shows our dashboard being assembled. So there you've got the dashboard, you've got your signal stock, you've got your steering wheel back and the steering wheel. All that glues together and then goes inside the chassis. And then here we've got our firewall with our brake master cylinder. That's on the back side. This gets turned around, dropped in here, so the pedals are on the inside meeting up with the floor. In panel 17 we get a start on our glass. So here we glue our rear view mirror in place and then we move our glass into the frame. There's our right and left hand side turn signals and our clear side window glass which will glue in here. Now we do have a choice of a tuner slash performance front end, custom in stock. So here's the stock front bumper being glued up underneath. You can also substitute in the custom and same with the back here. We got windshield wiper blades and a completed interior which pops in place. There is something that I just noticed and realized. This actually has no draft windows, which is quite an interesting thing for 1993, considering that most of these were removed off vehicles back in the early 70s. Panel 18 shows our engine bay assembly to chassis to body assembly. Here we've got our assembled radiator, which will drop into place. And there is an air filter box, which you paint aluminum and install as well. Here we've got our completed assembly going up into the body. That's our chassis to our body is what I'm trying to say. And all that should clip into place very nicely. Now we will need to install wheels on our Mazda. So here it is. You've got your front plated wheel, the tire, a disc brake retainer clip, and the wheel back. And you assemble four of those and push them into place on here. You will need some glue. They are not the actual uh, clip style axles, which is really good actually. Panel 20 shows our final assembly. Here we have the engine assembly. The air hose goes in place and then the upper radiator hose. And for our body, we have our brake lights as well as the center brake light and our license plate being glued on the back. An antenna drops in place, the hood gets hooked in, and then we've got the two piece left and right hand side mirrors, which also go on. Panel 21 shows our convertible top options. You can build this with the roof up or fold it down, or you even get this custom style which will drop in place and snuggle up behind those front bucket seats. And here's our decal placement. You have a choice between black and white stripes, which will go on the hood and up along the trunk, as well as on the sides here. And then we get a nice Alberta license plate. So finally, in all these reviews, we get a Canadian plate. We'll take a look at more of this when we uh, examine the decal sheet. Now we'll begin with our wonderful little Mazda body. It is molded in red, which is kind of unfortunate because the color I really liked was that nice blue color. We'll take a look at that right here. So on the body here, we got the excellent little door handles, which are molded in place. The front end looks beautiful. Uh, there you got this part that you need to remove in here. You got the nice engine cowl up there. Again, on the back, looks wonderful. There's sunken in depressions for that brake light, as well as the two side lights. A few uh, mold marks up underneath, but nothing anywhere where you would see it. We do have some flash along the ridges here, which is a little bit sharp, but overall really nice for such a small sports car. This parts tree includes our hood, the folded down top, our springs, the engine components and the exhaust components, and our dashboard. So again, look at just how wonderful all this detail is on here for such a small model. Really, really excellent stuff. You've got fins on the bottom of the oil pan. Up underneath, you've got all the matting in there. Looks good. 
maybe a few mold marks nothing too severe though looks really really excellent there's the brake master cylinder going right onto the back of the brake pedal which again is just perfect just like the real car only smaller so again really excellent parts tree by Ravel now this parts tree includes our chassis our bucket seat fronts our fan and fan shroud our carrier our rack and pinion steering and the rear axle as well as our upper and lower a arms and the stabilizer bar so again bringing this up to the camera you can just see how excellent all the detail is on there really nice and crisp i do believe this was a new tooling at the time i don't think there's an earlier mazda than this uh, if you do know of a model kit that is a little bit earlier of the miata write it in the comment section down below but overall again a really excellent looking model and i'm so glad i did pick it up on this parts tree we get the wonderful interior components like our door panels, our dashboard or steering system, the back of those bucket seats. We also get our stock rear bumper and front bumper and our interior bucket tub. So let's just turn this over and take a look. Look at that nice detail in there. Top of the McPherson strut towers and then there you get your interior. There's no, uh, oh yeah there are sink marks into the carpet but nothing really major turn this around there you get that nice dashboard in there look at the door panels with all the winders and the little speakers in the side now this had crank windows so no power windows again really excellent work the little back end has Mazda right in that corner again excellent excellent stuff Revell sure is the leader in molds on this parts tree we get the custom front end pieces and the custom piece for in between the seats there's all our disc brake rotors the little antenna windshield wipers there's our armrests and the battery i believe and a, the mirrors and our brake lever again really excellent work on there looks just like the real thing only smaller there's our uh, front ends not too bad on the mold marks Again, really excellent work from Ravel. Here we've got our wonderful little chrome parts tree. This one is a little more aluminum looking than actually chrome looking. There's the top of our engine and all the little accessories that go there. Our mirrors, our license plate, and these great Mazda Miata wheels. So let's just check them out. The wheels are hollow on the back so you can see right through the spokes. Looks like old style rally wheels. Again, really wonderfully done. A couple of mold marks, you'll have to remove the chrome off the contact surfaces, but overall, really excellent. And here we have all our clear components, like the front turn signals. There's a little piece in here for the engine, which is clear. Then we've got our up to top with the rear window, so you're going to have to mask this out when you paint this. There's our little side vent glass, as well as our front windshield and our rear turn signals and that rear brake light and look at how tiny that is you got to be really careful not to lose that thing but overall again really nicely done you can see the ribs in the roof that's uh, really amazing should look good once it gets painted and again very small components in here so just be careful you don't lose them now here we have our tires these are dunlop sp sport d8s and they are really quite cute wonderful tires they have a nice tread pattern on them just like the real dunlop tire and these i do believe are supposed to be 13 inch tires if i remember correctly again they really made this sports car move and here we have our mazda decal sheet and you get your choice of either white stripes or the black stripes or you could also build this with no stripes at all and look what we have right here that's right folks we've got an actual alberta home of the wild rose license plate ptd 927 waka 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 finally not california but alberta who would imagine it's even got a little frame around it as well so again very nicely done and a nice nod to canada happy canada day i know i'm late at this stage but why not 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at our Ravel 1993 Mazda MX-5 Miata model kit. Again, one of my favorite little cars. If you actually owned one of these back in the past and drove it around, or maybe still own it, let us know in the comments down below, which is the most customized version that you've ever seen on the road. I've seen one with a Corvette ZR1 LT1 engine in it, which is really amazing. It's at a car show, it comes to town every year. Again, one of my favorite cars. If you'd like to see the model kits that we have for sale right now on our website, check out www.monster-hobbies.ca. Also click that join button down below so that you can become a member of our channel. Members get really cool perks like the green Frankenstein thumb that you might see after some people's comments. Also your joining membership, <laughs> the dues I guess, helps to make our channel grow and expand and become wonderful because I can get stuff like new equipment or even just pay the bills. So until next time, everybody, check out www-monster-hobbies.ca for model kits. I'll leave a link and a subscribe button in the video coming up here, as well as check out this amazing unboxing. And until next time, happy model building.